Everyone's obsessed with steps. I need to get my 10,000 steps in, my 10,000 steps. But I think we need to change the 10,000 steps to at least 10 minutes of vigorous intensity exercise. You could do 10 minutes of any type of exercise that's really going to get your heart rate up, and it's going to be so much better. For the several million people that are listening right now, if you had to prescribe them all something to do, and it was the minimum they had to do, tell me what exactly the workout would look like and how frequent it would be on a weekly basis. I would say the Norwegian 4x4 is the gold standard. Specifically how I do that, I do my warm up and then I do four minutes of hard exercise. I take a break and the exercise I'm doing in those four minutes can be... A salt bike, you can do a rowing machine, you could do a stationary cycling machine as well. Could I run? You can. I think it's better on, on doing like maybe a bike or a salt bike or something. And you are going as hard as you can for that four minutes and maintain within that four minutes. So it's not an all out or it's far from all out, right? But you're not really having a conversation while you're doing it. And then the four minutes of recovery, you're, if you're running, you kind of go down to walking. If you're on the rowing machine or the assault bike, you're just going very slow and you're letting your heart rate come down. You're letting your muscles kind of recover and you're doing that four times. It's not easy. You can't just start doing it mm. right out the gate. You want to kind of work your way up that. But then work your way up as you as you do it one week, two weeks, you know, a month later, two months later. That being part of an exercise protocol was shown to reverse the structural changes that occur with age in the heart by 20 years.